Bye. Oh. Hey friends, long time, no chat. I know it's been like two months since I posted a vlog and we're gonna have a bit of tea time. We're gonna catch up like friends over our tea. I have my Tea de Louvre. It is the Coupe Coupe, the Courtyard Tea. I said that wrong. Um, and it has black tea, citrus, and blackberry. This is actually one of my favorite teas. It's from the Louvre. I got some whenever um, we went to Paris. Oh God, not last year. The year before. In 2019, we went to Paris. And last year, we didn't do anything. Um, but we went to Paris and got this. And this is actually my last satchel. But luckily, um, our neighbors found a place where you can buy it online. So I'm super excited. I already have more. So cheers. Tea time with Kelsey. Let's talk about what I have going on in my life. Um, I just finished, so this vlog is going to go over um, the painting of Gilbert, Gilbert Opossum. As some of you may know, um, I am running a fundraiser with him that's launching next Monday, January 25th. Um, that fundraiser is going to have blankets and notebooks and um, and stickers and magnets and all of the things that I love to create um, for clients that you can purchase and 50% of it goes to Gilby's mom. Um, she's known as the snack lady. <laughs> Steph is amazing. She and I connected at the beginning of 2020 um, whenever I did a random um, pattern of Gilbert and his brother Gus Gus just out of love for them because they're the funniest little possums also right now go follow Gilbert Opossum. It's on, he's on Instagram, at Gilbert Opossum. Um, so unfortunately, you know, we've been planning this fundraiser for a long time and we decided on the name, a Gilby New Year and all these things and when to launch it. And then tragically, Gilbert passed away um, at the end of December. He, uh, he was four, and that's actually old for opossums, um, funny enough. I, I didn't know this, um, so Steph is also just an angel for taking in and rehabilitating all the possums that she does, um, knowing that they are not long-lived creatures, and yet she loves them with all of her heart. And so I just I just love Steph. And I'm, um, you know, we had some serious conversations about whether or not she wanted to continue um, but she wanted to move forward with the fundraiser and I said, let's do it. Let's do something that, you know, not only celebrates Gilby, but celebrates all your other opossums. 2020 was a rough year for the snack lady. Um, but she still continues to care for three opossums. Um, she has Elmer, she has Peach, and she has Penny. Um, and they are all so funny and have such little personalities and Steph, um, just really does a lot for um, opossum conservation. Helping people realize that opossums are the sweetest things and are also beneficial, right? Um, they eat ticks, they uh, have almost zero chance of catching rabies, and they will never hurt you. They are actually the best little creatures that you could have in your backyard. Side quest, Phil starts screaming at like 10 o'clock at night, one night, before Christmas. So excited. Kels, come here. Kels, come here. Kels, 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 Kels. I come running and there's an opossum in our backyard and she just ran under our shed where she lives and her name is Ophelia and we are honored. <laughs> and we give her, so we lined up all of our pumpkins that we had left and one would disappear, like little mini pumpkins. One would disappear every night, like Boom, 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 boom. It was really funny. And then we stuck out a tomato and it had like a possum bite in it, but she obviously didn't like the tomato. We love feeding all types of animals where we are here. <laughs> um, but you should embrace opossums as well because they are that great. They are North America's only marsupial. Um, and they do so much good for the environment that I challenge you if you don't like them, Give him another look.
holidays were crazy. Um, I was working on finishing up a bunch of things um, and I was so honored to have so many projects to work on, um, but it was something that kind of got ahead of me very quickly. Um, but I did give myself some time off at the end of the year and that was very nice. But then, you know, first week in January, we're right back at it with that capital riot and you're like, what is happening? What is happening? So, um, I'm actually, uh, we're just not going to worry about that here. This is going to be a safe space where we're drinking tea. Safe space, drinking tea. Safe space, drinking tea. Anyway. play Animal Crossing. Um, I just got um, a new villager. My older villager Pearl asked to leave and she'd been there for a while and I liked her but like I wasn't in love with her so I was like yeah sure you can go. And then I just spent like 15 freaking Nook Miles tickets to try and find a good villager and I finally just gave up like I ran into Vic, he's this like viking bull thing and I was like, yeah, you're fine, like sure, come on to my island that's full of like flamingos and like purple ostriches and like pink octopi and like sure, just come on in, bull that looks like a, a viking hero, you're gonna fit right in, I'm ready for it, welcome Vic, welcome to my island. Like, what have I done? I literally, like, on the other 14 islands that I visited to try and find a new villager, like, there was, like, this super cute penguin and, like, this adorable elephant and there was even, like, a woolly mammoth and I was like, nah, I'm, like, holding out for a management position, right? Like, I'm gonna find a great villager that fits in with all of my peppy, happy villagers and then I find this, like, cranky villager and I'm so cranky myself, but I was like, you know what? We're one and the same. Let's do it. Let's bring a cranky villager onto my island. He's gonna hate everyone. He's gonna hate everything. I'll keep you updated.
some things that I'm doing right now. Um, currently reading. Um, I'm reading um, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I'm about halfway through that. I'm listening to, I like to listen to audiobooks, um, and I'm listening to The Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo, and oh my god, so good, so good. Definitely macabre, definitely that mix of fantasy, definitely trigger warning. It, it deals with some very, very distressing topics, um, but it is a great book. I am actually looking forward to putting my headphones on and going into the ninth house when I'm done filming this. Some other books I got for Christmas, because books are the best, right? I got um, Decisions and Descents of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. So I love reading Descents. Funny thing about me is I considered going to law school um, for constitutional law. Um, it was something that I seriously considered before um, a an actual lawyer told me that that was a really bad idea because I would never get a job. And now I sit here as an artist. I feel like I've always liked the weird jobs, you know? I wanted to be this is, this is legitimately what I went through in my life. I wanted to be a paleontologist. I wanted to be an archeologist. I wanted to be a physical anthropologist. I wanted to be a historian. I decided to be a physical anthropologist again. And then I wanted to be a classicist. And then a constitutional scholar, back to classicist, and writer and now I'm an artist. I do still want to write my book that I have planned but I've really embraced art's been one of those things that's always kind of been an undercurrent in my life that I never really felt like was something that was a legitimate career but all of those other things oh conservationist too you know one of those people who like come in and they're like let me save that mural let me save that ancient Roman mosaic I can do it like that's that's me Freaking cute. Gilbert is cute. Especially in a pumpkin. Fight me about that. Anyway, um, <laughs> Indy's sleeping. Um, I will show you her. Um, but I hope you loved it. I hope you loved everything. I'm gonna be checking in soon. Um, my Patreon's going to have exclusive videos of me painting some of the other possums that are included in a Gilby New Year. Um, and you'll see me soon. Bye, team.